Hey guys, and welcome to my iOS 8.1 Beta 1 review. So, I've been running the system for like two days now, and I have three major things to talk about. Number one being the overall performance. iOS 8.1 Beta 1 here feels snappy, it feels fast, it feels smooth, no problems at all. You see here, it's good. It's good. Absolutely no problems with overall performance. Next thing being this battered life, and as you see here, I have 14% left, and that's after having this phone running here for like two days, days and, a, and a single charge, and that's better than ever. I haven't actually experienced such a better life since iOS 6, I believe it was, and you see here, it's great. Number 3 is actually a slowdown, a consequence of updating to 8.1, and it's Safari. It feels laggy, it feels slow, it doesn't feel good as before. So definitely allows 8.0.2 was better. And you see a yeah, loading time is as good as before, but what has changed, the slowdown is in the smoothness. It doesn't feel as good as it was. See here, the browser stops, it lags, it's... oh, you see what I mean. It's not as good as it was, definitely not. See what I mean? But this is just YouTube, and let's try the keyboard in YouTube, just to show you what I mean. So when Apple released iOS 8.0, the keyboard sucked yeah, in the desktop versions of websites. But then with iOS 8.0.2, they fixed this issue, and it's back again with iOS 8.1, and that sucks. You see, like the keyboard is just slow. Can't keep it up with what I write. You see, and it stops if I write too fast. See, it crashes. Safari sucks so hard with iOS 8.1. It's just restarted. It. Go back again. <laughs> you see what I mean? So if you're using Safari a lot, iOS 8.1 won't be a good choice right now. Let's try another desktop edition site, like Yahoo. To show you that it's not just only YouTube. Mm. This is Danish version of Yahoo.com. And it's pretty damn slow. But it's only Safari that has this problem, I believe. Overall, the system feels good, it feels smooth, it feels fast. And if you want me to check anything specific out, you can just write a comment and I'll do my best and reply to you. And if I can get it to load, I will show you Yahoo before I leave you. And this is the mobile edition. Okay, by the way, the mobile editions of websites feels good. They are smooth as before. Not bad. But the issue is with desktop sites. It's like Safari is getting trouble loading these large websites that it did before. You see here. just not as it was. It stops, it lags. Mm. I definitely don't like this shit. Nope, it feels like an Android from 9 2009. It 
feels very, very bad. But you got my point. So overall performance is great, better life is great. And Safari sucks. That, and that was my review. And that kind of wraps it up. Hope you enjoyed this video. And see you guys later.